This is E12, day one, and we're introducing a new OR sound. You've already learnt OR for the OR sound, as in corn. Now we're learning another one. So there are about nine different ways we can write the OR sound. So that's the first one. Now they're getting a little bit harder each time. So in these words, we're saying AW is making the OR sound. So we've got P OR, S OR, L OR, J OR, D R OR. K l or st r or l or n d or n k r or u. Okay, let's have a look at what these words mean. Before we do that, let's have a look where the or sound is in a word. It can be at the end of a word. And it can be in the middle of a word. And not very often, but sometimes it can be at the start of a word too. Okay, this word paw means a dog or the cat's paw. The paw where you um, don't feel very well or you don't have a lot of money is spelt differently. And if you want to look at the word paw where we pour a glass of milk, that's spelt differently too. So this is the one we're talking about in this set where it's a dog's or, a, or, or a, um, a cat's paw too. Saw can mean a saw that you cut wood with and saw is something we can do. We can saw the wood. You can also have saw as where you see something with your eyes. So it can have lots of different meanings. The law are the rules that we have to live by um, just to make everyone's lives a lot easier and happier. A jaw is that bone on the bottom of your um, face that, and you have teeth on your, inserted into that jawbone. Draw is where you can draw a picture. A claw, you can see these nails, these very sharp claws on the bird's foot and that helps them grip onto a tree or a branch or helps them hold onto um, some prey. A straw could be a straw that you drink through it can also be from a plant, say um, some wheat or something, where they've cut off the seeds and all that's left is a bit of grass, so we would call that the straw. Lawn is the nice green growth that we have in our gardens um, that you have to mow every now and then to keep it um, nice and low to the ground. Dawn is when the sun is rising in the morning, we call it the dawn, and crawl you can see a baby crawl or lots of animals can crawl like monkeys. Um, so it's moving on all fours for limbs on the ground. Okay, let's read the word, sound the word and spell the word. So we've got paw, p-or, 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 p-a-w, p-a-w, p-a-w. And get your little card to cover with and then see if you can write it three times without looking. And you can do the rest of that page on your own. E12 day two, we're revising that AW may make the OR sound. So let's see if we can read these words. We've got put OR, POR, S OR, SAW, UL OR, LAW, J OR, JAW, D or draw, k l or claw, st or straw, l or n lawn, d or n dawn, k or l crawl. Now, if you have a look at these words, sometimes we have other words that can be spelt differently but sound the same. So we could have this is a dog's paw, we know, but we could also have paw like. If someone doesn't have a lot of money or they're feeling sick, we could say they're poor or they're feeling poorly. You can also have poor spelt like this, which means you might pour milk into a jug or into a glass or pour sand into a bucket. So we, sometimes we spell words differently, even though they sound the same, just to show that they mean something different. Now here we've got saw and it's spelt the same way, but it's going to mean different things. So you can have a saw which cuts wood and you can say, I saw you at the park, which means you saw someone yesterday. It's the past tense of see. 
Law, we know, is a rule. Draw is that bone at the bottom of your face. Draw is draw a picture. If you want to say draw er, where you put your clothes and things in a draw er, you have to add er to the end of it. A claw is like a nail on a cat or dog. Straw could be grass um, that grows in a, when farmers plant a crop and they cut the seeds off the top, the straw is left. Um, it can also mean a long thin tube that you can um, drink through. You know you've got a lawn at home that you can play on. Dawn is the start of the day and crawl like a baby or an animal can crawl. Okay, so just be careful because some of those words can have more than one meaning. Okay, paw, let's read it, sound it, spell it. P -O -P -A -W, then you're going to cover it before you write it. You can finish the rest of those on your own. Down here you just have to finish the word by adding the or sound. Then you have to write it again. And then you've got to find the picture of it. Oh, there's not a picture of that one, so I don't have to. Oh, yes, there is. There's one there. Four. Okay, so you have to finish the word, write it again, and then write it again. Fill in the gaps with the missing list words. So I can drink from a straw. The cat will something the rug. So claw could be a noun and a verb. It's something that a cat has. It's a thing. And it can also be something that a cat does. It can claw the rug. So you can finish off those sentences on your own. This is E12 day three, and we're talking about using AW for the or sound in these words. So it usually appears in the middle or at the end of these words. It can later on, you'll learn that it can be at the start of some words, not many though. Okay, so we've got P or, S or, saw, L or, law, J or, jaw, D or, or draw, K or, or claw, St or, or straw, L or, N lawn, D or, N dawn, K or, or ul, crawl. Don't forget, after a long sound, we just use one L at the end of a word. Okay, so let's read it, sound it, spell these words, and then write them. So we're going to go paw, p or, p or, p a w, cover it, and write it. And you can finish the rest of those on your own. Here we've got verb families. We've put the verb families at the end of each sentence, so you just have to choose the correct word and write it into the um, space in the sentence. The snail something slowly. The snail crawls slowly. The snail crawls slowly. The snail crawling slowly. The snail crawled slowly. You could have two words there. You could have crawls or crawl with the ED on the end. So you can choose which one of those you want to write in there. The snail crawls slowly. Okay, I am something, a goat, I am draw a goat, I am draws a goat, I am drawing a goat, I am drew a goat. Mm, there's only one answer there. You can go through those sentences and do them on your own. Down here we've got plurals where we know to add, usually we add an S and you're lucky today on all of these words we're just adding an S. There's no tricky ones in there. A cat has 18 claws. The gardener mows many we have many mm, in our town. A dog has four. Mm. You can finish those off on your own. Write the words plural and link. So if we have one saw, we say saw. If we have more than one, we have saws. We write saws with the S on the end. Then you just have to link that word to the picture. You can finish that page on your own. E12, day four, is a sound sort. And we've given you some of a word. What you have to do is choose the missing part of the word and write it in. So it says, fill in the gaps with the correct sound. So dress, would it be S, Z, Z, or S, S? D, R, X. We know that if it's a short word with a short vowel sound, we have to use two S's at the end of it. So highlight the correct sound and then write in the missing letters. Uh, mm, it could be this, uh, this, uh, or this, uh. 
you know because you've already learnt this word that it's going to be ER. So we just have to write in the ER. What and we know that after a W or a WH, we may use the A for the OT sound. So we're going to write in the word the letter A to make that say wand. C now, we've talked about this when we did the EA words. We said that the only way we can re really remember which are the EA words, if we can link them somehow to the word eat. So we talked about how we get a lot of food from the sea. So we know we can link this to the word eat. So for C, it would be S-E-A. You can do the rest of these on your own.